Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode four of Lightroom Quick Tips. And this is a question I get a lot. Most of us, at least a lot of us, have our Lightroom library on a desktop at home. But very often we're on vacation or somewhere like that and we bring along a laptop and we're taking pictures. And we'd like to edit the images on our laptop while we're, you know, in the hotel room on vacation. But when we come back home, we want to get those edited images back into our main Lightroom library and I get a lot of questions about how to do this and it's relatively easy and in this uh, Lightroom quick tip I'm gonna show you how to do it right now I'm on my MacBook Pro and I have I'm just doing three images because it's a little quicker the less images you use but you could do 200 images you know a lot of images uh, you just need a transfer vehicle to bring it from your laptop to your desktop that is large enough to hold all the files. You could use an external hard drive that will plug into both and work in, on both computers. In this case I'm using a th little thumbnail drive um, and it works fine. So what you do is uh, edit your images. I'm on my laptop and as you can see like on this first one you can see the sliders in the basic panel are, have all been adjusted. On this one here they've all been adjusted. I even rated this one five stars just to show that that all gets transferred to. And then in this last picture as you could see they're all adjusted. Now when you're done editing and you want to uh, get them over onto your main computer uh, what you have to do is select them all. And we've done this before and those of you that just are familiar with computers know how to do this. You can select them one at a time by hitting your command or control key as you click on each one or you can just click on the, the first one or last one in the image and then go to the opposite end and hold the shift key and it will select them all. Now go up to file and we want to go to export as catalog. Now this comes up with this dialog box. Now we have to give it a name and I'm going to give it a name test. You could even add tags so we could tag these images. Right now I'm not going to because I just can't think of anything off the top of my head. But you could ta put ta add some tags to the images if you want. Now that down here is important. We're going to export negative files. That is like the worst wording. What that means is you're actually sending over the files. So if you shoot raw files and um, it's going to actually copy those raw files from your laptop onto the thumb drive in my case or any type of external hard drive you might be using. Um, if you shot JPEG, it's going to copy the JPEG. That's what that means. Um, also, it will copy all the edits you did to the images. And this is, as I mentioned, I did edits to these three in images. Now, build or include smart previews, that's up to you. If you, a lot of times, that's more convenient if um, you're going the other way. If you have your desktop and you're going to go and your, your um, Lightroom library is on an external hard drive a, on your desktop and you're going to take those files and put it on your laptop, go somewhere and edit them uh, from your laptop, you could let uh, edit them with smart previews and you won't have to bring your hard drive with you. So going the other way is where you would click this box. And we're going to include the available previews. And um, you got to choose where we're sending it, and I already have it chose. I, um, up here I have the Morganti thumbnail, I called it. Um, and I just uh, click Export Catalog. And it takes a second, and now it exported those three images to my, um, to, uh, my thumbnail. So we're just going to eject my thumbnail, and now the video is going to take up, and we're going to be on my iMac, and I'm going to show you how to get those images into your main Lightroom library. Okay guys, we're on my iMac now, and I put the thumbnail in my iMac. You can see there's the thumbnail right there. So now we're going to open up my uh, Lightroom that's on my iMac, which is my main Lightroom library. And now we want to get these images and all the edits I did to them into my main library. So we go up to File, and we want to go Import from another catalog. Then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to navigate to, to wherever you saved them. In this case it was the Morganti thumbnail. I remember I named it test and we want to go to the light, the actual Lightroom catalog. It's test.lrcat. So we click on that and we just click on choose in my case. It's going to come up. Do I want all the folders? Yes, there was one folder. Do I want all the images? Yes, there were three. Then you got to uh, copy the new images to the new location and import them into the catalog. That's what we want. And you have to say where you want to save it. 
um, and normally you'd save it in your catalog and you know where you know in my case it's under Lightroom raw files so I, I could do that I actually um, I might as well let's go to Lightroom raw files right there and just click choose and then I'm gonna click import and there are the three images that's how fast it went in we're gonna go over to the develop module and um, here's the first image and as you see in the basic panel all my edits are there you could see that um, it's rated if you could see way down here it's five stars so it brought over the ratings too uh, we'll go to the next image and you could see that all the uh, sliders are, are still adjusted so all the edits came with it and there's the last one you know, with all the edits came with it so that's it that is how you would uh, have images that you edited on your laptop or MacBook and you um, export them out of that catalog onto a thumb drive or an external hard drive and then bring them over to your main Lightroom catalog which would be on a desktop or a in this case an iMac and we just uh, import them into that so it's pretty easy um, just not very intuitive I guess so that's it for episode 4 this one's a little longer but um, it's still kind of a quick tip and I hope uh, it helps a lot of you guys and of course you guys ever have any questions feel free to ask and I appreciate everyone's uh, positive comments thank you very much and if you have time uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel I would really appreciate it. and thank you again everyone for watching my videos